Well, our first movie this month is Zodiac, and it's a David Fincher film. And if any of you know who David Fincher is, he is the director of Seven and Fight Club. And this movie deals with the Zodiac killer who was a serial killer in the San Francisco Bay Area around the 1970s. Um, he went around killing people and he left a lot of ciphers, which are codes in, uh, near, with newspapers and police officers that they had to crack to try and figure out. He left messages for them to try and figure out what, what this is all about. And it mainly revolves around the detectives and the uh, newspaper people, Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Robert Downey Jr. in trying to figure out how to catch this guy and his patterns, which are really erratic and uh, constantly changed throughout the movie. And uh, just a basic type of thriller movie. Killing is his compulsion. It drives him, it's in his blood. Jeez. What? Squirrels. This is the Zodiac speaking. I've begun. I can give you a lift to the service station. Do you always go around helping people in the night? I'm not the Zodiac. And if I was, I certainly wouldn't tell you. Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? Well, I thought, I thought this movie was great. I, mean, I thought it was awesome. I like Fincher in general, but it's different than most Fincher right. movies. I mean... Well, no, Finch, Fincher's a, he's a phenomenal director. Right. Uh, obviously, yeah. anybody who likes Fight Club and likes, um, you know, anything he's done previously, like Seven is a really intense movie. It was a very different uh, feel than his other movies. It wasn't as intense or well, graphic-wise. Well, yeah, I think that has to do with also the fact that it's a, a real story. I think so, too. It's not like he a... Didn't, it's not a basis on I a I mean, Fight Club event. 7, Panic Room, right. those are like right. Alien 3. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I think is, is cool is, like, I like when, when directors actually do something different. Um, yeah. And I think that's what Fincher is, I'm not, not necessarily trying to do. Well, he but stretched. He did a he, stretch. Yeah, and I definitely. think it was awesome. I mean, I, I, I think so. It was a very good film. Um, you know, I, I know Fincher's one of your favorite directors in Yeah, oh, yeah, world. yeah. I uh, love Fincher. Uh, he was my favorite up until recently. I like Christopher Nolan, too. <laughs> but Fincher's, Fincher's there. Fincher's right. awesome. I admire Fincher's him there. very much right. so. Fun guy. No, I, th I thought one of the main uh, strengths of it was uh, the sporting actor, um, Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo was awesome. He, I mean, he, he, really he, to me, was the quintessential the detective, of, de the uh, detective of that time. And right. you felt like you were in that... The main guy who was put on the case. This right, time. exactly. And you yeah. felt like you were in 69 or 60, whatever, early 70s. Least, yeah. I mean, with the way they shot that film, it was yeah. kind of like... Yeah, and also, I mean, the killings were just so brutal, but they weren't glorified. They weren't... <laughs> That too, and you noticed that you didn't see every single one. There was no, only no, no, select no, no. few no. Um, killings really, that you saw. Yeah. And the ones you did, it were like, wow, that was... Well, and I mean... That was tough. Just, if, if people know what happens in the end, which is right. very possible because it's a true story, and I did, mm -hmm. uh, you still are very caught up in this movie. Oh, I mean, still this guessing, thing keeps going you're, and going, you're... and you don't know, you can't remember, oh, well, what happens to this guy? Does this guy die? Right. He, and and it, there's like scenes of, of this great intensity, but... They're so small and little. They're mm -hmm. done, played so well, where you feel that they're very real. What the what the most thing is people have to understand about this movie is that if you just want to rent it one night, you got to sit down and watch the entire thing. It's not a movie where you can yeah. just sit down, watch two minutes here, five minutes here. It's very heavy oh, that's, based that's... on vocab. Uh, if you miss two minutes, you're you know. No, you yeah, the I mean, movie. I mean, yeah, I I, uh, I only had to leave once for a break, and I mean, I luckily it was it wasn't anything that was dialogue driven. Right, it's well, a very dialogue driven movie. That is true. And that is uh, true. but pitch perfect. I mean, everything looks like it should. Mm -hmm. Everybody acts like they should. Jake Gyllenhaal, I loved him. Um, See, I you, I thought he was a little bit weak for that part. I would have seen uh, somebody. Like Mark Ruffalo made up for him though. For me, I don't know. I, I liked him. He was a he dirk, kinda, dorky little guy at the thing. I mean, he, he had that nervousness. I don't know. Well, anyways, anyways. Um, my star rate, I give this four stars. I thought it was just, I thought it was phenomenal. I think the actors did well. I think Jake Gyllenhaal was awesome. Every, I, the only problem I could see with most people is it's a little long. It's right. two hours it and uh, it 50 felt a minutes. Little long too, but, yeah. um, but I didn't really feel, I felt it maybe once. And that, right. was, that was very little. Well, the only reason I'm giving it three and a half stars is because Jake Gyllenhaal, I thought, did not do the great. <laughs> The great job. And oh, it felt a little man. long. It was a very good film. Very yeah. good film for David Fincher. I'm definitely a fan of his uh, films, and I know he's working on some that are coming up this next year, so I'm looking forward to see those.